Hello my little readers welcome back to the story treasure and today we are going to read Mr Men Trip to the Moon by Roger Hargreaves so let's get started One day Mr Nonsense was reading the Nonsense Land Times when he had the idea of going to the moon Well If a cow can jump over it then it can't be too hard to get to he announced to no one in particular Later that day he mentioned the idea to Mr Greedy Mr Greedy thought it was an excellent plan I hear the moon's made of cheese he said licking his lips I like cheese But Mr Greedy did put Mr Nonsense straight about one thing. It's a very long long way away. So they went to see Mr Clever. What we need is a space rocket, explained Mr Clever. A space rocket is something I have always want to build. Will that be very difficult? asked Mr Nonsense. Well, it is rocket science, so the answer is yes," said Mr. Clever, who rather likes to show off. While Mr. Clever built the rocket, the other two set about choosing fellow astronaut to travel with them. Mr. Nosey could not go because the space helmet would not fit over his nose. Mr Tickle and Mr Tall could not go because neither of them could fit into the space suits. And little Miss Splendid refused to take off her hat which was not good at all. Mr Clever had finished the rocket in record time. Clever him and the day of launch arrived. 10 9 8 7 5 4321 blast off cried mr clever pressing the launch button but nothing happened nothing happened because mr forgetful had forgotten to fill the fuel tank an hour later the rocket took off roaring up into the sky trailing a great cloud of smoke it rose higher and higher into the air high above the earth through the atmosphere and into outer space ah oh my cried mr wari i'm floating and so he was and so was everyone else we don't waste so much in space explained mr clever cleverly the air is much thinner up here unlike mr greedy chipped in mr rood rudely it wasn't long before mr greedy began to feel hungry so he cooked spaghetti for everyone perhaps not the most sensible idea when they arrived mr nonsense was the first to talk on the moon because it had all been his idea although he kept an eye out for jumping cows it was mr wari who discovered strange footprints on the surface of the moon which he followed while worrying he was about to bump into a space alien he was rather relieved to find it was little miss carey walking on her hands mr small could not believe it he could lift mr greedy above his head with one finger everyone had a wonderful day on the moon everyone except mr greedy who was disappointed to discover that the moon is not made of cheese i told you said mr clever something that mr clever never tires of saying the next day they packed up and went home It had been a splendid adventure and Mr Nonsense was very pleased with himself. And so were all who lived in Nonsense land, all except one. 
go to the moon? What nonsense! Said the cow. This is very funny and interesting book, right, my little readers? Do you like it? Do let me know. If you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Story Treasure. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Take care.